In this unit, we will review some eponymous words based on the names of gods and goddesses from Greek and Roman mythology. Aeolian is an adjective that relates to something arising from the action of winds. Aeolus was the Greek god of winds. Aether or ether is the pure air above the clouds. Aether is a Greek elemental god and his name means light, which is the glowing light of the heaven. Aphrodisiac refers to any food or drink that stimulates sexual desire. Aphrodite was the Greek goddess of love and pleasure. Apollo refers to a handsome young man. Apollo was the Greek and Roman god of music and poetry. Dionysian refers to something of an uninhibited and sensual nature. Dionysus and Apollo were the sons of Zeus. Apollo was practical and rational while Dionysus was driven by emotions and irrationality. Apollonian means balanced and harmonious in nature as contrasted with Dionysian. Ariadne means most holy. Ariadne is a Greek goddess who helped Theseus escape the labyrinth and fight the Minotaur. Aura means radiance emanated by a person or an object. Aura was a virgin huntress and the Greek goddess of breeze and the morning wind. Bacchanalian relates to a drunken feast or orgy. Bacchus is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god Dionysus whose worship is characterized by drunken revelry and maddening frenzy. Boreas means north wind. Boreas was the Greek wind god who represented winter. Cereal means a food grain. Ceres was the Roman goddess of agriculture. Cupidity is a strong yearning for money and material possessions. Cupid was the Roman god of love born to Venus and Mars. Diana means a huntress. In Roman mythology, Diana was the virgin goddess of the hunt. She is the counterpart of the Greek goddess Artemis. Erebus indicates darkness. Erebus was a primordial Greek god who personified darkness. Erotic indicates anything sexual in nature. Eros was the son of Aphrodite and was revered as the Greek god of love and sexual yearning. Gaia means earth. In Greek mythology, Gaia was the primordial goddess of earth. Hebe means anything in youth, in the prime of life for women. Hebe was the daughter of the Greek god Zeus. She was the goddess of youth and spring. Hecate means a witch. Hecate was a Greek goddess associated with underworld witchcraft and necromancy. Hermetic means airtight and sealed. Hermes Trimagistus was the Greek Egyptian god associated with magic and alchemy. Hygiene is a regular practice of cleanliness to prevent the spreading of diseases. Hygieia was the Greek goddess of health and cleanliness and the daughter of Asclepios, the medicine god. Hymen is a membrane that covers the opening of vagina and was traditionally thought to be a mark of virginity. In Greek mythology, Hymen was the god of marriage. Hymenial means relating to marriage. In Greek mythology, Hymen was the god of marriage. Hypnos Hypno is a prefix meaning sleep, as in hypnotism and hypnotherapy. In Greek mythology, Hypnos was the god of sleep. His mother was Nyx, the night, and father was Erebus, darkness. Iridescent means displaying lustrous rainbow-like colors. The Greek goddess Iris was a messenger of gods who used the rainbow as a bridge between heaven and earth. Iris are showy ornamental flowers native to Eurasia and North America. The Greek goddess Iris was the messenger of gods. Janus' face is having two contrasting characteristics or polarities. In ancient Roman religion, Janus was a two-faced god of beginnings, gates and doorways. Jovial indicates a cheerful and lively disposition. In Roman mythology, Jupiter was the king of gods. Romans believed that people born under the planet Jupiter or Jove displayed qualities of friendliness and cheerfulness. Junoesque indicates a tall and mature figure of a woman. In Roman mythology, Juno was the wife of Jupiter. Martial is an adjective relating to war and military activities. Mars was the Roman god of war. Mercurial indicates a volatile and inconsistent character. 
Mercury was a Roman god who was associated with trickery and thieves. Mnemonic means a pattern or system that helps a person in remembering things. In Greek mythology, Mnemosyne was the goddess of memory. Morphine is a narcotic drug obtained from opium that relieves pain. In Greek mythology, Morpheus was the god of dreams. Nemesis indicates an agent responsible for someone's downfall. In Greek mythology, Nemesis was the goddess who showed her wrath towards any human who was arrogant towards the gods. Nike is a popular brand of sports goods symbolized by the widely known swoosh logo. Nike was a Greek goddess who personified victory. Ocean is a large expanse of water. Okeanos or Oceanus was an ancient Greek god who personified the river Okeanos that circles the earth. Odin, Odinia or Odino combines to mean pain in the English language. Odin was the daughter of Nyx and was personified as the goddess of pain. Palladium is a safeguard or a protective device. This relates to the statue of Pallas Athena that safeguarded the city of Troy. Panacea is a single remedy for all diseases. In Greek mythology, Panacea was the goddess of universal cure and remedy. Panic is an uncontrollable fear resulting in anxiety. In Greek mythology, Pan was the god of the woodlands who caused unreasonable fear among people with his terrifying sounds. Phantasos is a figment of imagination. Phantasos is the Greek god of dream. Plutonian means belonging to the underworld. Pluto was the god of underworld in Greek mythology. He also presided over the afterlife. Plutocrat indicates wealthy. In Greek mythology, Plutus was the god of wealth. Protean means ever-changing or adaptable. Proteus was a Greek sea god who was able to change his form according to his will. Saturnine indicates a gloomy and unfriendly temperament. In medieval Europe, it was believed that people born under the influence of the planet Saturn were morose and sluggish. Somnos. Somnia is a root word and a suffix used in English language to refer to sleep. Somnos or Somnus was the Roman god of sleep. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. For more details, visit our website leximagic.com.